So the first thing I wanted to ask you about was something I had read a good deal about in the production notes, the opportunity to improv while making an animated movie. I'm always curious to hear about how far you could push it when there are so many departments and artists involved. So to kind of paint a picture of that, can you tell me a little bit about the very first version of Donkey Kong you were pitched and how that evolved and wound up being what we see in the finished film now? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um... Yeah, with animated movies, honestly, often you're rarely even given like a full script for some reason. I don't know why, because there always is one. They just don't give it to the actors. And I've made them, and they're like, should we give the actors the script? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, we don't usually do this. I'm like, just give it to them. Um, so that's where, <laughs> so you kind of are like pitched it. Um, yeah, I think the original description was that, yeah, he was kind of really like seeking his father's attention and. Um, kind of a showboat, maybe those were some of the words used, and um, and yeah, it seemed it seemed funny, and and um, but mostly, yeah, the world seemed impressive, and uh, it seemed like they were going to actually like make a version of this that was you know exciting for fans as opposed to the first uh, version I saw as an 11 year old that was uh, not exciting for fans. Um, and so, yeah, then you, yeah, then you're alone in a room like this with a microphone and, and they animate after that you've recorded. And so they, you, you record and you try tons of stuff. It's you alone in a room basically with, uh, and so there's really very little pressure on time and, and whether or not it's, everything is good or working, you know, because it's, it's a relatively inexpensive way to capture performance as in comparison to some of the other ways we capture performance in, in, in this job, you know? Um, and so you can get a lot of material and then they take it and they edit it together into like a radio play essentially. And then they take that and they, and they animate it. But, um, but yeah, I was alone completely on this movie. That's not always how it is, but this one, yeah, I, I literally never saw another actor. So I was like, like a crazy person alone in a room, um, just screaming at my, just screaming at myself. <laughs> I mean, that works for you. You absolutely crush it in the role. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so I've also read the rumors that Donkey Kong could get a spinoff movie. And I, I do hope that really happens because I walked out of this movie like feeling wanting that, but like in a natural way and not in a way that this movie is teeing that up and kind of forcing that at me, which I really appreciated. But let's say you get the opportunity to do that. Is there any particular corner of Donkey Kong's world or personality that you would hope that that movie would explore most? Um. I don't know. I mean, I uh, there there's a lot of opportunity there. I think the family unit of the Kongs seems to be, and if the Fast and Furious films have taught us anything, is that it's all about family. So, <laughs> did an animated Fast and Furious exactly. movie, and they I got love those it. Go karts. It, it, it kind of you know, there's a lot of crossover. <laughs> I'll end with the most serious question you'll probably hear all day. Perfect. But one of my favorite parts of this movie is how Luigi is there to support Mario's goals and ambitions, even when others won't. So I want to know in your career, who is your Luigi in this crazy industry when you have a really <laughs> big dream or idea? Who is always there to back? you up on it um well i'm lucky because i have a partner uh his name's evan goldberg we worked together since we were 12 since 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 that first movie came out um, and and yeah and having a partner honestly like is invaluable to me and and we do that both to each other and 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 when one doesn't think an idea is great the other often like helps the uh, like helps you know bring it bring it there you know um and sometimes we both think an idea is bad and we're right. Uh, but but I think just having someone there to bounce off of and to uh, kind of really be there uh, with you along the way to me has been very valuable. And I've seen a lot of writers who don't have partners and 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 how much harder it is, honestly, and, and, and how much that like kind of built in support system is is helpful, you know. Should have guessed you would have gone for Evan, a an excellent duo that I love seeing <laughs> flourishing like in this Luigi business. <laughs> uh, they're going to kick me out of here. Huge congratulations. And I genuinely do want to see that spinoff now. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. <laughs>